right, uh, I did my final senior speech on my coming to America. So, uh, why I came here? Uh, first one, as obviously you can see, it says war. Uh, there was like a giant war with my country and five other countries, believe it or not. They were all one country, leader died, broke up. A big war completely collapsed our economy. And then again in 1999, the United States bombed uh, Serbia for 72 days straight, destroying cities and pretty much the entire country, also putting the economy very low. Uh, America was known, even back then in 2003, as a land of opportunity, or as so it was advertised to be the land of opportunity. So that leading into the second point of a uh, better life, my family wanted to move from Serbia here to America to actually start a new, better life to give me and my brother better education and have a better life and better living and all that fun stuff. So, uh, my troubles in America, uh, culture, of course, is my first trouble. I had a really tough time uh, adapting to American culture. Obviously, the cultures are cute, like have a humongous difference between them, uh, but American culture was so strange to a kid who couldn't even speak a language at the time he came here. So from first through uh, fifth grade, they put me in ESL. Come sixth grade in middle school, I was out of ESL, and I still had trouble with the American language. Uh, Accent-wise, words-wise, pronouncing words, I still have trouble with that. I slur my speech here and there. Accent comes in and out. But language was definitely a big problem because the American language, sorry, the English language, is very complicated because you guys have all these uh, letters in words that you don't even pronounce. Unlike other languages, like for mine example, the words are spelled as they're pronounced, but here you have a cane knife, which uh, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just weird to me. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, 11 years. Uh, this past November 2014, 11 years since I moved to the United States, 11 years since everything, since I've been in this school, since I've, I don't know, if I probably met all of you in Painter, for those who have went to Painter, those who have went to uh, Whitehall or any other school, probably not, but those who have went to Painter, I knew you guys, you guys probably didn't know me, a little foreign kid, um, but I knew all of you, and then Harrison, knew you guys, and of course I know you guys now, but from first to like 10th grade, Honestly, I was the shyest kid ever. I barely spoke to people. But last year, I'll use the expression, like I came out of my cocoon. I just started being more friendly. If you were a football player, band, geek, goth, nerd, whatever you want to classify yourself as, I just befriended everyone. And you know, why hate on people when you know, this is the only time, good time to make friends is in school. So I just tried to become friends with everyone. Uh, family, I only have one uncle and one aunt that live here in Pittsburgh, here in America speak and they live here in Pittsburgh. So that's kind of the reason we stood here. I had the opportunity to move to California because my dad got a great job offer out there, but we didn't. Of course, due to family reasons, we just wanted to stick around with actual people who speak Serbian. And Pittsburgh is actually a big region for uh, Serbian and Croatian and Bosnian immigrants to move. And it's all the same region, so you have a lot of people with the same cultures and ethics and language and <coughs> everything like that. Uh, education, uh, we kind of just spoke about that earlier. You know, all 12 years I've spent here. I didn't do kindergarten because I started that in my country. Came here, it was November, and I started schooling in January, so it kind of threw me like halfway through first grade. So I didn't have like a full year of first grade education, which I don't think honestly affected me that much. At least I don't think so. And actually, I think that's it. So overall, what I'm, the speech was about me coming to America, the struggles that I went through, and now that I'm here, and I don't know if I'm gonna expand life here in America, if I'm gonna stay in America, because post-college, I do plan on hopefully moving somewhere, Australia or somewhere like Switzerland or something, but I'm completely undecided on that. But I wanna thank all of you and all my friends out there for a wonderful 12 years that I've lived in this country and the education I've gotten and all of that, so that's it.